what's up you guys it's me Brianna and I'm back with another video for you guys today and I'm so excited to do today's video because I'll be doing a first impressions get ready with me video and I've never done one of these videos and I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about the products that I'm gonna be using before I start the video and where I got them from it's kind of a cool twist and I want to let you guys in on it so without further ado let's go ahead and get started and I'm gonna let you guys in on the scoop I really hope you enjoyed this video uh not enjoyed you haven't watched it yet I hope that you enjoy you get what I'm saying um anyway Anyways, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love it if you would join the family. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And I love you guys all so much. Thank you for tuning in for another one of my videos. It means so much to me. So, in today's First Impressions Get Ready With Me, the reason I'm making it a First Impressions is because I actually partnered with a company called Sochua. And basically, what this is, it's your own personal beauty counter. That is kind of the concept of this. And let me just really quickly explain this to you guys so you're like, what, your own personal beauty counter? Like, how did you get this box, Brianna? What does it do? How did, like, what? What do you mean? So Schwa is a woman founded and woman led recently started up a beauty company and I think that's really awesome. I love supporting like new companies that are just starting out and I think it's really awesome. So what you can do is you can go on their website and pick out high-end beauty products that you want to try. So I'll share with you guys the ones that I picked out and then they basically what they do is they repackage them into deluxe sample sizes and they send them right to your door which is so awesome so you don't even have to even leave the house. You don't have to go to Sephora. You can just go online and then get samples sent right to your door and they're really generous sized samples. I completed my whole face almost pretty much with all of the samples that I got in my box. And the cool thing about it is that if you end up liking the product that got sent to your door that you got a sample of, you can go back on their website and purchase it, which I think is really awesome. This is perfect for those of you that don't have time to probably go to the store or if you don't even have like a Sephora or Ulta around you to where you can reach these products or try these products out near you. This is definitely a really great alternative and an awesome option that I definitely will be using a lot more. I do want to say that Sochua is not a beauty subscription box. They are a beauty makeup counter so it's not a subscription box it's just where you can go online pick up makeup that you wanted to pick up makeup pick out makeup that you want to try and then they will repackage it in deluxe size samples and send it to your door so I just want to kind of emphasize that it's not a beauty box I don't want you guys to think that it's a beauty box so this is what the Sochua box looks like I think the packaging is really cute and the box is really generous and then on the back it says the beauty samples inside this box have been lovingly and hygienically repackaged from the full-size products which are manufactured and distributed by the luxurious beauty brands listed on the So Schwa website and then it says each sample contains approximately 0.1 grams to 0.5 grams of product and um, that's really important because I feel like you need to know kind of how much you're getting um, so yes let's go ahead and hop on into the box so this is what my box looks like I chose five products I chose a Lancome foundation a girl on primer a Laura Mercier highlighter uh, Bobbi Brown vitamin and rich face base and a corrective bleh, can't talk a corrective concealer from hourglass and then they also give you like little applicators that you can use which is also really cool and they also give you um since two of the products that I got came in like pans so they were like the pan products like the highlighter was panned and so was the concealer they give you um a little container that says schwa on it and it looks like this and then you can just take your magnetic pan and stick it in here so that'd be really cool to like take the concealer with you and I think it's really awesome and if you guys didn't know schwa actually is choice in French so it's kind of like so choice if you kind of want to break it down so let's go ahead and get into the start of this video with that being said i hope you guys enjoy and i love you i do want to mention that uh Sochua links will be linked down below as well as all the products that i use in this video that i got from Sochua slash the samples that i got from them will be linked down below in case you guys want to go check it out for yourself and yes with that being said let's go ahead and get into this first impressions and now i'm ready to dig into my Sochua box and test out these five products that i picked out so without further ado let's jump into the video and you guys are going to kind of get my first impression on these products and my first reaction and what i think of them and how i Think they work so let's jump right in so the first product that i'm going to be using is the guerlain radiance concentrate with the pure gold this is a facial primer i've seen most youtubers use this on youtube as like a face primer i know jeffree star uses it and he loves it um tati which is a beauty guru that i watch a lot she loves this as well and has raved about it so this is what the packaging looks like that the guerlain sample comes in as you can see it is a pretty generous size sample um it's probably more than what you would get at sephora if you walked in and asked for a sample and i don't even 
think they sell this in stores at Sephora. So that's a plus. I'm really excited to try this because it's infused with real gold. Um, I don't know if you guys could see like the pure gold flexes in it. I think that's so cool. So I'm going to get my mirror. It looks like what you do for this applicator is it's just a twist up applicator. So I'm going to go ahead and take the top off and I'm going to start twisting it up until I see product coming out, which this is actually pretty convenient because it's less messy and you don't have to touch it with your hands. So I really, really like that. So I'm going to twist up and the product is starting to come out. It doesn't really say how many times to twist, but I'm just going to twist until I start to see product, I guess. Okay, so I've started to see product dispense out of the tube and how I'm going to go about this is just apply it to my face. And I've heard that a little goes a long way with this product. So I'm just going to lightly apply it to my face and then blend it in with my finger. So I'm just going to apply it on my cheeks. Holy cow, that feels amazing. It feels kind of cold, which I don't know if that's because it's been sitting in my cold room or if the actual product itself is just cold. So I'm just gonna do like one and a half twists just about and just put this on areas where I wanna prime. And again, this comes with a pretty generous size sample. So I'm not gonna try to use too much of it just because I do wanna also put the foundation to the test that I also got in this sample box. So um, I'm just gonna kind of blend in. So this feels really nice. It smells like, not like perfume, but it doesn't really have a scent to it. It almost has like a little bit of a perfume scent so it does kind of have a scent to it but it feels really really nice i can see the reflexes of gold um i don't know if this is so much going to really help my redness per se but i definitely think that um it, it would be a good base i don't know how this is going to wear i do have like combination to oily skin so this might not be super great for me but so far it feels nice the texture is very like plump almost it feels a little bit tacky which is going to be great for foundation application so that was the Guerlain radiance concentrate or the Guerlain primer which is what most people use it for and that was after one application and i already have i probably can get one and a half to two applications out of this i would say um if you just use a little bit less product to apply the foundation that I did get a sample of, I am going to use just a dampened beauty sponge. I got a sample of the Lancome Ultra 24 Hour Divine Perfection Foundation. That is a mouthful. I got it in the shade 100 Ivory In, which is like um, for neutral skin tones because I kind of consider myself to be neutral skin toned other than like a little bit of redness. So again, it comes in the same type of contraption, which is like the twist up, which should be really nice for foundation. Again, it comes with a really generous sized amount and I'm just going to apply that to my face with the applicator and then blend it in with the beauty blender i might only get one application out of this i might be able to get two but i like a good amount of foundation and i don't know how full coverage this is going to be since i am trying it for the first time so i'm just going to twist this up until i get some product out just like we did the last one all right so i'm seeing some foundation and i'm just gonna what i'm gonna do is just like dot this in my face i'll zoom you guys in a little bit uh this looks like my color i'm hoping it's my color yeah, that looks a tad bit light, but it's like something that concealer can probably fix, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it will be my color. See, I didn't want to go too dark, you know? I wanted to go like perfect. I wanted to get like the perfect shade. So I'm just going to kind of dot this and we can go back and add more as needed, but I'm just going to do a little bit because I don't know if this foundation is going to go a long way or not. So we're just going to kind of just play it by ear and see how much we can apply. First initial thought, I definitely feel like the foundation applied nicely. You can still see a little bit of my redness kind of right here. I don't know if you guys can kind of pick up on that, but just around my nose, you can still see a little redness and then my pimple. So I'm going to try to go over that with more product and see if I can get, you know, just a little bit more coverage just to cover up those red spots. I don't know if maybe applying it with a brush would give me more coverage. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm just going to apply it to around my nose a little bit more because I am really red there today for a weird, weird reason. The foundation is overall good, but I feel like for a day like today when my skin is just kind of like being ugh, it's not like the best because I can just see like some of my eczema peeking through and it's like not my favorite thing. I would probably give this like a 6 out of 10, a 7 out of 10. I would definitely say it's light to medium covered. It's not full coverage. So I'm a flop and I totally forgot to apply the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base before I started doing my makeup. I was actually going to use that as my primer, but I think what I'm going to do is apply it to my under eyes and then kind of like around my eye area because it does say you can do that on the website. So it came in this little container like this and it just says Bobbi 
Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. It totally crossed my mind that I completely forgot to use that, but it's not too late to just kind of put some a little bit under my eyes. So that's what I'm going to do now because I do want to like feel the consistency of this. Okay, wow. So the consistency is very waxy, so this might... I don't know if this would be good to put under my eyes. This probably would have been better as a primer, but I'm just gonna tap lightly under my eyes. Just, to, it can, it kind of, it's brightening up my under eye area a little bit, but they definitely give you a lot of this product because a little bit of this Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base goes a long way. So I'm just gonna put this around my eyes. I've been very dry around my eyes lately, so I feel like this is gonna be really nice just to kind of help with my eye area and maybe my concealer. Um, this tacky base will probably help the concealer stick really well, but I did want to use this in the video just because I wanted to put it to the test. That kind of has like a, like a citrusy smell. It's really weird, like I'm smelling it on my fingers because I just applied it, but like it kind of has a citrusy smell, which I kind of like, so that was really, really nice. So next, I'm going to take the next sample that I got, and this is the Hourglass Hidden Corrective Concealer in the shade Fair, and I've been wanting to try this concealer for quite a long time, and I don't know if it's actually going to match the foundation. I kind of just guessed on what shade I needed, um, and it looked to be my shade. I'm mostly fair in like every concealer. So the way they package this is they put it in just like a magnetic pan, and it's really cool because you can take the little compact that they use and put your magnetic pan in this little compact which is super cool so you can like throw it in your purse for travel I would probably put the concealer in here and not the highlighter just because I feel like I'm using concealer more often if you want to go in the car and do a touch-up this is really really handy and I think this was nice that they included this in there so without further ado let's go ahead and put on the concealer it has a clear protective wrap over it that I'm gonna go ahead and peel off and we're going to dig on into this puppy and see how it works on the under eye so I'm just gonna put this on my finger and pat it in because it's a creamy concealer So I feel like with a beauty blender it probably wouldn't work that well So so far warming it up with my finger. It feels really creamy I don't know exactly how much I'm gonna need so I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a tad so you can see a little bit better I'm gonna start with this eye and just kind of go in so Let's see so I definitely feel like I'm going to need more and it doesn't exactly match the foundation but I'm gonna drag it down to kind of help with that so I think the coverage is pretty nice it definitely has more of a yellowy undertone it's more yellow than I thought it was gonna be um, I don't know if this is necessarily my favorite um, it's okay I would say I'm gonna set it with powder afterwards and then see how it looks then I'm also just gonna put it around the areas where I'm red and see how that works so my pimples are just not wanting to like cover up at all and I don't want to make it look like I have makeup on it so I'm gonna try not to put too much concealer now since this is a cream concealer this would probably last you such a long time so this is a really really nice sample uh, size that they give you I'm kind of digging like the light coverage to be honest because I'm so used to full coverage but I just want to see if I can build this up without it looking cakey, if you know what I mean. So yeah, it definitely does help cover a little bit more redness. Um, I'm going to go in with powder really quick. I'm going to take some of my RCMA No Color Powder and come set it and then come back to you guys and then let you know what I think. Okay, so I'm back and I just set my face and my under eyes with my RCMA No Color Powder. And I'm going to zoom you guys in all the way. And so I don't know if you can see, but just like around here, you can just see my skin kind of peeking through, which is totally okay. But this is something I wouldn't wear if I was just going out to like a concert or a party where I wanted something full coverage. I probably wouldn't necessarily wear this, but just for like a casual day, I really like this. I think it's really nice. So um, last but not least, we're going to use the last product that I have in this box, and it is the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator in the shade Devotion. And again, it's in one of those pan type things, the magnetic pans with the cover. So you can either put the concealer in there, which is like I mentioned, that's what I would do um, instead of the highlighter because I have like a Z palette that I can just put the highlighter in. It's going to take a Morphe R31 highlighting brush and just highlight the apples of my cheeks now keep in mind this is totally out of order me doing my makeup because I'm only doing a first impression on the sample products that I got in this box if you haven't already caught on to that so I'm gonna take a little bit of this this is kind of like a pinky iridescent highlight like a light pink highlight so I've never used a highlight like that before it's a face illuminator but I would consider it to be like a highlight so I'm just gonna put it um, on the points of my face where I normally would highlight holy moly Oh wow, that's really gorgeous. I feel like I overdid it a bit, but you know what? It's never, you can never use too much highlight. So I'm definitely going for a very dewy look by doing this. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to zoom you in really quick, but that highlight is popping. I know they have like a champagne one, but I wanted to try this one because I felt like the champagne one was so similar to champagne pop. 
in a way that I wanted to try something new. So this one is definitely seriously really pretty and it kind of complements the undertones of my skin. I feel like this would even look really good on darker skin tones as well. So I'm just kind of putting that on the highlights of my cheeks. Highlights my cheeks. Wow, Brianna, my cheekbones. <laughs> so I'm really quickly going to finish up with the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back to you guys with a full recap of what I thought of all the products that I tried. And yes, all I did was I just put a little bit of bronzer on, some bronzer in the crease, mascara, and then I also just touched up my eyebrows. So, but everything else that I used was what I got in my Sochua box. And um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm probably gonna zoom out now so it doesn't seem super awkward, but I had a really fun time filming this. Um, everything that I mentioned about Sochua and how how you can get your own box, how you can sign up, all that stuff that I mentioned in the beginning of the video will be linked down in the description box below. So I really hope you guys like this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We are almost at 100,000, which is so crazy and mind blowing. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>